Hi there everyone, it is currently the 26th of November 2011 and out here today in the Indian Ocean we're looking at Tropical Cyclone 05B that's being issued by the Joint Typhoon Warning Center out of Pearl Harbor showing current winds on the system about 35 gusting up to 45 knots as it tracks off towards the northwest. We uh, have been watching the system actually for a few days now as it's been slowly starting to organize as it tracks off in this northwesterly direction but has dropped a lot of rainfall already over over much of Sri Lanka here, over 100 millimeters of rain being reported in some of the metropolitan areas out there before it did track off towards the southern portions of India here where you're seeing some fairly heavy rain bands actually currently move across the area. I did see some reports on the cities on the southern periphery of the India here showing over 60 to 70 millimeters of rainfall in the past 24 hours alone. So definitely a lot of potential moisture coming in from the south as indicated actually here on the water vapor imagery. You have the center of circuit circulation right in here but you see this banding out here towards the east and towards the southeast as well well you have all that moisture pumping on shore from the very warm sea surface temperatures down here towards the south and also that intertropical convergence zone down here towards the south that holds a lot of moisture as well so also you have this flow coming in from the west as well so if anybody's watching here from Maldives as well you're gonna be seeing some very heavy rainfall out in that location uh, good news though looks like the center of circulation is already passed most of the islands out there still anticipate a lot of gusty winds though but nothing above that weak tropical storm strength but as this does continue to track off towards the northwest here it was likely going to move slightly away from land here so I don't really think that the circulation is really going to make a landfall here along the west coast of India. So with that said, the rainfall and the flooding potential are definitely going to be the main risk here, especially in some of these metro areas and those poor drainage areas, uh, specifically Cochin, where this storm is actually about 100 nautical miles towards the south of right now. You could be seeing some heavy rainfall in that city as well. So with that said, let's look at some of the model outlooks here, starting with the GFS model outlook for 000 this morning. You see the initialization of this system fairly weak at this time. You still have that banding in coming in from the east here, so this one's fairly accurate at the start off with and then we start to see a track off towards the northwest through the Arabian Sea before eventually pushing off towards the north here towards Pakistan in the long range where you could be seeing some heavy rainfall but good news though by the time it gets up in here I do anticipate it to encounter an extremely high amount of vertical wind shear and that is why here right in the last several frames you see a rapidly drop off in intensity those numbers go from about 992 millibars to upwards of 1000 so that shows that low starting to fill up and become weaker but let's look at the no gaps model outlook now now the uh, joy typhoon warning center not really leaning towards the intensity when no gaps is pushing out here they're actually expecting this to remain at a very weak tropical depression it looks like and then track more in a westerly direction I don't think this is very uh, apparent given the upper level winds analysis out here so definitely leaning more towards what the GFS model is putting out on this system with that northwesterly track eventually off towards Pakistan but I was talking about the wind shear here a second ago and just look at this up here upwards of 70 even 100 knots of wind shear here along the southern coast of Pakistan this tropical system is not gonna like that at all as it continues to track off towards the north here do anticipate by the midpoint of the Arabian Sea right in here right about once it hits this 30 to 40 knots of uh, shear here expect that to start decreasing in intensity and a really a big knockoff on intensity as it continues to track off towards the north here so really as already stated the big concern at this time is gonna be that rainfall coming on shore specifically along the west coast of India here. Also, there's that potential of rip currents out there, which means definitely not a beach day out there. Definitely don't want to get caught up in any of these dangerous high tides in India and also those rough seas right near the coast. But here's looking at Joint Typhoon Warning Center's outlook on this system. So I noted looking at that track off towards the northwest, eventually recurving and then heading off here towards Pakistan. They kind of go in the middle of the GFS and no gaps outlook. Uh, maxing out intensity though, at about 50 gusting up, or excuse me, 55 gusting up to 70 knots so tropical storm intensity uh, equivalent of a tropical storm intensity at least out in the typhoon basin off towards the east here but also not expecting us to get above that 64 knots uh, severe cyclone intensity so uh, that's really all for this one right now though we're going to continue to keep you posted here at westernpacificweather.com also check 28storms.com they continue to put out cyclone updates there as well so if you have any questions comments or suggestions as always please post them in the comment box below and also stay tuned here at Western Pacific weather for a new update for the weather going on across eastern asia and even australia here in the near future might put one out later today so thanks again everybody stay safe out there have a great day